What's poppin' everybody on YouTube? I am your boy Wes, and this is Kicks from Wes. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time watching, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Tap that little bell so you'll be notified when I post videos and go live here on YouTube. If you like what you see, by all means, slap that like button. It does help out the channel, and your boy most definitely would appreciate it. Welcome back to another review and unboxing. Today, we're going over the Air Jordan 3 Animal Instinct 2.0. Now, these sneakers release next Saturday, June 25th, for $250. So, just the retail price on these right here. Now, the big question is, is these shoes worth $250? Well, hopefully this video will answer your questions when you reach the end of the video. And if you're just curious about what the materials and how they look in hand, then you came to the right place. Standard box for the most part. Well, not really. This ain't standard. But as you can see, they got a Jordan collage going on here. Very dope box, man. If you got one of these... You know what it looks like? It got some renditions of the 11s on here, the 2s. You know, mock-ups of mostly uh, Tinker's designs and everything else on this box. These are my size, size 10 and a half. Check out the labeling right there. Shout out to the homeboy, flystepping underscore CV again. Over on Instagram, go check him out. Go shop with him. You feel me? Um, he let me review this pair for you guys, so shout out to you. For letting me do that. Appreciate you. $250. Now, they give you some kind of special box in a sense. Uh, tissue paper. Plain black uh, tissue paper for the most part. Double layer is what I'm seeing here. You got two, two things of tissue paper. God damn. Oh, my God. Late. All right. Okay. I'm pull these out. Okay, I can see why they want to charge two fifty. Hold on. Let me cover this box. You got know me. I don't know if you did a pre-order, but I'm here to let you know. Uh, be careful with that, and to show you everything. So, there's one quality control stamp right there. You know, another telltale sign would be the label itself. If you don't know, you need to look on your labels. The font is going to be regular size font. Um, nothing on this here is out of whack. I mean, it is scratched up. This is the homie personal pair. You feel me? But for the most part, your label should look exactly like that. The letters should not be big, nothing should be spaced out, and that is the correct font and size as far as labeling. And you're like, yo, bro, show the shoes already. Like, you stalling. We're trying to see what these shit's popping for. <laughs> so, without further ado, the Air Jordan 3 Animal Instinct 2.0. Bang, bang. It's got a lot going on with these right here, but I must say, first eyes seeing this shoe, bro, these shits is fire. I like these. These look dope. The colors, uh, your, your hints of yellow, your hints of red in the inside as far as uh, behind the tongue, the, the red jump man, you got your hint of green right there. You know, we're gonna cover all that. So we're gonna start off with the outer sole, as you can see, white outer sole. Hint of that red uh, pod, traction pod right there. The Jordan in the yellow right there. Move up, man. Move up. We're going to get nice, good details. Bang, bang. Now, check these joints out. Check these shit out. They did good. It ain't hard. You can feel the, the scales. On the toe box, look at the detailing. The same, they 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 did okay with this. I can see why they want to charge two fifty. In each material that I'm I'm rubbing my finger over, it feels different. You know, you get different feels on each of uh, the materials on the shoe itself. Man, check that out. 
that dark mocha zebra print right there. Looking good, looking good. Let me hit y'all with that back. Yellow Jordan air tab. Under underlay that. You got that green smacking back there. And these just look good. Reptile green up there. Yellow eyelids up top. They even did something for for right here near these eyelids, man. Every little detail on these shoe. These is cracked. They got the wax laces. Now you did get two sets of laces with these. You get a red pair and a yellow pair. I feel like the yellow pair or the red pair will just go fine. It will pop. Oh man, look at his tongue. Kind of stretched it out too much, but check that out, man. Feels good, feels good, looks good. Looks good, man. Red eyelids down here. Just the detailing on the shoe itself. It just, it's amazing. I'm, I'm just really, like, amazed by how Jordan Brand and Nike put this one together. For the, for the tongue behind it's got that that nice michael jackson thriller leather on there that say animal instinct it says no i'm sorry it says instinct and then underneath that it says 2.0 these look good man they feel good look good they got a yellow insole which uh the red jump man right there had to come up close with this one. Here you go the left shoe. I don't know what that was, but as I was saying, here you go two sets of laces right here. Red. And you got your yellow joints. Now for me personally, I would I would go red and, and then mix it up with the yellow. But these are dope man. You get that, that, that Jamaican vibe too. Very nice, clean touch shoe, man. Very dope shoe. Let me sure I go over all the detailing for y'all. $250. $250, they say. Now, the, the black laces, uh, I must point out. Hold on. That there. The black laces are wax laces to, to a little bit. They they, they could have did a little bit better with the waxing, but check that out as you can see. You know, for the most part, they are right. But they did not do wax laces for this, this yellow one or this red one. These are just standard yellow and red laces. So if you even want to be more of a freak and go find yourself a uh, a green pair like that, you know what I mean? I know uh, the, the pine green ones, you know, if you got those in your collection uh, and you ain't wearing those, you can swap those out, throw those in there. I, I think they should have they should have gave you wax red and yellow to go along with the, the wax black, but you know what I mean? You get what you pay for. But for the most part, the materials on the shoe, they feel soft, you know what I mean? It's not hard leather. It's not, you know, even for me, and move it back out the way. You know, just check that out. You feel good, man. You feel good. Very dope shoe. Very dope shoe. Um, I'm not going to go after these when they first come out, but these will be on my radar. Hopefully, I can catch these on a sale. And you know, even better if I can catch these slipping in the outlet, boy. That'll be dope. But that is going to be pretty much it for this review and unboxing of the Air Jordan 3 Animal Instinct 2.0. So one more time for the one time, hit you guys with that right side. Leading on on, leading on on. <laughs> leading on to that back. Moving on over to the right side. Excuse me, left side. 
Hitting you off with that front. I know these joints look crazy on feet. Last but not least, hitting you off with that outer sole, man. And that is going to be it for this review. I thank you guys for watching. And if you're new around here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We almost at 3,000 subscribers. And when I reach out 3,000 subscribers, I will be doing a sneaker video of my entire sneaker collection. So, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Everybody stay fresh, stay blessed. I am your boy, Wes. And this is Kicks from Wes. And I'm out. Peace.